Hello everyone. In earlier session we have seen how to write xref function. We know that xref has to be written on the target database. It fetches the data from the source database. In earlier session we have seen how to fetch salary information from workforce cube into main cube where workforce is the source cube where main is the target cube. In this example, we will see how to achieve the same functionality using xwrite function. xwrite has to be written in the source database. So depending upon your requirement, whether you want to run this particular retrieval in source cube or target cube, you can decide whether to use xwrite or xref. Here is the syntax for xwrite. It has three parameters, xwrite expression this is a numerical expression that means that brings the numerical data this could be a member name or member combination which has data location alias we know already and the third parameter is member list which is optional any members that are different between source and target has to be mentioned here let's see an example now on the source database that is our workforce cube I have created a location alias. This is the location alias and application name is PSSRPT and database is PSS main and you can mention the server name details. Enter any alias name and verify this and click set. So the location alias is created and here is the xwrite syntax. In the fixed statement I have mentioned all the members that are common between source and target database. I want to bring basic salary, bonus, any salary related or compensation related information from workforce cube into main cube. The xwrite command must be enclosed in parenthesis and it should have a member name specified before the parenthesis. If we remove the member name, it will give an error. I can simply mention basic salary but I want to bring basic salary of total employee. So I have used cross dimensional operator. If any dimension that is not there between source and target cubes, it will bring it from the top level parent member. In this example, employee dimension is not there in our target database. Whereas I have not mentioned department dimension in fix, but it can bring from all department members, lowest members and parent members because department dimension exists in both the databases. If a dimension is not there in the target database and if we don't mention, it is as same as writing total employee cross dimensional operator. Location alias exists in the middle of this command. Left hand side is the source information right hand side is target information on the right hand side i don't need to mention cross dimensional operator i need to mention the member name separated by comma so the first line brings basic salary from source cube and keeps into this combination no distribution channel no line of business basic salary and if i want to bring the bonus member bonus and on the right hand side i have to change the account member name there is no data in the main database number of existing blocks are zero i wanted to show you this statistics because if blocks are not there xwrite can create blocks in the target database let me retrieve the data in main cube and show you there is no data in the main cube for this basic salary and bonus. Whereas I have entered some information in our source database that is nothing but workforce database. Let me execute this script and the script is executed successfully. And let's log into our main target database, refresh the data. Now we got this information from workforce cube. So that means xwrite can create blocks on the target database also. In this example, we have two different databases that is source and target. But xwrite also can be used within the same cube. That is source and target databases are same. Let me show you an example. If the source and target databases are same, what should be the location alias? So in the middle of this xwrite command, I have used at the rate loop back. At the rate loop back means source and target databases are same. In this example, I want to write budget working FI21 data to 
budget working FI22. So I have to use at the rate loop back. I have retrieved data from workforce cube for budget working FI22. There is no data at the moment. Let's execute this script and retrieve the data. Now the data is copied from FI21 to FI22. If you notice here total employee data is not copied. Why? Because I have used at the rate relative total employee comma zero. In this session we have seen how to use xwrite command and xwrite has to be written on the source database. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in next session.